Um, so, so number seven then. Um, probably Father's Day for me. If I'm, or well, maybe Bad Wolf. Oh, I don't know. I don't oh, the know thing, anymore. Father's Day was such now, a Father's Day was such a missed opportunity because the concept of the Reapers for Doctor Who would have been absolutely insane, especially if they were in the Matt Smith era, talking about wibbly wobbly timey wimey and blink, and then the yeah. Reapers just fucking show up to mess with the weeping angels. So I think Father's Day as an episode is is a perfectly fine episode, but a, mm. such a missed opportunity for what could have been an iconic CGI Yeah, character. I agree, because, I mean, the, the, the fact that Rose's dad's dead is such a mm. part, a big part of her character, but then, mm. of course, it gets fixed later, but um, oh, it's some parallel universe chicanery. But, uh, but ultimately, I guess, as when it's being compared to the finale, the Ooh. beginning... Um, and then, of course, Moffat's two-parter and Dalek. It's kind of hard to put it above any of them. My um, well, it's funny you say that because my three favorite episodes of this season, and you can kind of switch them around, but they're all definitely in the top three: are um, Empty Child, Doctor Dances, and Father's Day. But uh, okay. if you guys don't oh. feel as fondly, I mean, then you can. Uh, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I don't have any. I, I think it's a good episode. I think it's emotionally um, good, uh, strong at what it does. I guess what I mean, how far? What's the cutoff point between Bad Wolf and Parting of the Ways? Because Bad Wolf does waste a lot of time with with a bunch of. Um, um, Bad Wolf ends with the Doctor saying, "Rose, I'm coming to get you." After she gets transported oh yeah 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 no, no, it's really is quite good isn't it i guess it's better than rose rose is a great episode because it had the incredible task of starting off the new run and and it nailed it um and it did it without you know blowing the stack and bringing in the daleks or the cybermen it's using the nesting consciousness which is like you know not a, a very well known major villain from the classic series um but um i mean not on the level of daleks or sidemen but 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 still provides us a threat and and i like as as kind of cheesy as it is i like the bit where she goes to the the bloke's house and he's got his old aol dial-up pc going and he's like showing her the doctor throughout history and it's it's a it's really good at dumping a shitload of exposition without boring you or making it just a big lecture so hey, looking at all I, well looking at all these episodes i personally say that the that the weakest unfortunately would have to be father's day because the thing about bad wolf is the entire episode exists in a far better way than legend of ruby sunday to big up the finale i mean without mm -hmm. bad wolf you wouldn't have the the foundation oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for parting of the ways to be such a brilliant conclusion to what could have been like a one and done series of, of Doctor Who. What better way to end the time war than for the uh, the companion to annihilate the the Daleks and then to save the companion, the Doctor soaks up the time vortex and then instead of regenerating, he dies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bit, a bit bit hard to do at the end of a season one finale, but yeah, I get the I get it. If it was a one and done project, yeah. Grant. So are we are we basically having to put Father's Day and Rose next? Then basically, yeah. just deciding which oh, order dude. they go in. Like I, I get it, but that kind of hurts at the same. Yeah, time, it I'm hurts. Like, I'm so I'm so fond of like both of them, though. I mean, you, I like all of these. <laughs> Father's Day is the ultimate great story with the worst wasted potential if they yeah. didn't take if they took away the the demons and it was just that story it would be up there with the best but because it's never revisited it mm. actually hurts the the episode exactly yeah it's kind of like father's day is a great idea executed meh and well, Rose no, is, it was is a meh great. idea executed very well but it was <laughs> there was no follow-up to it if you yeah. create something that has such huge follow-up potential and then it's never followed up Yes, yeah, like, like where are God. the Reapers? I mean, the consequences yeah. of the Reapers uh, returning could have easily pu been put into Blink. It could easily pe be put into C Series 6 of Doctor Who, considering the timeline is completely fucked during mm. that era. 
or that series. Well, I mean, especially the conclusion to that season. Like, yeah, hundred mm. percent. Like, yeah. Well, then Mass so we are came now. Out. So we're now at um, you know the the really difficult, which is mm. the top five, <laughs> because mm. there are some real fucking bangers now remaining and ranking them is is as we as we found out last time we did this it's easy to get the ones you don't think are the best mm. when you start getting down to the 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 ones that most define what you're looking for as a criterion it becomes much much harder well, let me let me try and quick fire you know from five to one go on. let me know what you guys and all you guys and gals in the chat think so number five i think bad wolf uh number four i think Empty Child. Number I three, I think... Him. Shush, Darby. Number Let three, I think The Doctor Dances. Number two, I think Dalek. Number one, I think The Parting of the Ways. All right. Okay. What do people think of that? I mean, I think Toby. Dalek is, is definitely top three. Yeah, mm. Dalek was actually good, but it wasn't the top, but it was it is in the top three. It's the first time you get to see the darkness um, of the Doctor, where he's like, mm -hmm. you're roaring at it to just die. It's the first appearance of the Dalek. It makes Daleks menacing and not a joke mm. like the others, uh, like the later Cle appearances. Well, you know, Clearly it's a great episode, although uh, as is um, Parting of, of the Ways, but I always have this thought in the back of my mind. It would have been great if the first entry of the Daleks in New Who was in Stolen Earth, Series 4. It's like that exterminate we hadn't heard for years. Well, then you have to lose the Battle of Canary Wharf, though. Yes. Yeah, and you, you've, yeah. got lose, you've got to lose a lot, but for that yeah. moment, it would have made it so much better. No, it would have I, been I, I agree, I agree with that. to go three but, series without the Daleks, though. Mm -hmm. But go on. Sorry, Grant. Go on, in, 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 in all fairness, I waited, mm. what, 15 years to hear that, that line again, like, exterminate. Right. So, like, when I heard, when I heard the, it in, the strange, in Dalek, so, like... The, the, I think the, it, yeah, it sends shivers down your spine in Dalek, yeah. Well, the strange thing about series one of New Who is that it feels like the BBC gave Doctor Who like a, a series, and if you get it right, you'll get more, but if you get it wrong, that's it. You've got to make a story from beginning to end for Doctor Who, and looking back on it nearly 20 years later, it feels like, likewise with the Doctor himself, Christopher Eccleston, mm -hmm. it's like one and done, mm -hmm. Yeah, but it did I, I so can, well, it led that. to yeah. to series two and seri even series three, the next two seasons getting, or series, getting green lit. So I would I would put maybe Bad Wolf at number five uh, mm. because it does uh, yeah. fart around with the reality TV stuff for a little too long. Mm. But when if, it, if but then it does, at, get... if we're gonna look at it as episodes when when they came out and when we saw it. Bad Wolf is definitely up there. But if we're gonna look at it with a retrospective lens, and if we can go like I can watch a single episode by itself without watching something else behind it, mm. um, what was considered a good episode, Bad Wolf has to be number five. Yeah, probably. Because it's it, it's it's all references and it's all, you know, yeah. innuendos and, it, it and everything. It takes ages to get going. Hmm. Um, I think there's only enjoying all that. There's only one two-parter in this era of New Who where the first part is better than the second, and to me, that's Stolen Earth and Journey's End. Mm. Stolen Earth was probably the perfect episode of of Doctor. It was pretty Who, awesome. Whereas, um. Journey's the bit End. Where they're all dialing the doctor. You don't like Journey's End. In. Journey's End is a I solid like story, end. but the the end of it. We'll have plenty of time for that in three yeah. weeks. Yeah, the way <laughs> the way they fucking end it is a complete. Well, fuck <laughs> you. We've defeated the most evil race of creatures in all yeah. the fucking yeah, 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 universal yeah, yeah. history yeah, by a piece of electricity. Want to be here all night. Come on, let's talk. Every about se every season they do that. That's that's yeah. that's the thing. I mean, series three's ending is even worse. I mean, it just gets sort of wished back. Mm, <laughs> it, Dr. Uh, Jesus. We'll, I mean, we'll get to that. It goes from look, at, season, look, look at seasons one ending. It's exactly the same thing. It gets wished back. It's the heart of the TARDIS, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, technically, no, it's, it's, it's I mean, Rose using the power, but yeah. It does set up 
much more later though with, with but bad yeah that's wolf. why it's better because yeah. the other one didn't have any sort of setup to it, it was just okay so bad wolf is five okay everyone yeah yeah uh, uh, for me i'm happy with that and uh, you could make the same argument with uh, the empty child it's the first well, it's, part of, it's a solid episode but likewise with bad the doctor wolf, dances it better, yeah yeah because Ooh, the doctor see, does, oh i don't know because the empty child absolutely freaking terrified me when i, I disagree saw it. i think the empty child is a better episode because by the end of the, the episode like there's so I'm much more confused. intrigue intrigue to it there's 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 uh that's the where richard wilson's face transforms into the gas mask at the end right yeah and starts, like oh, that is horrifying well, when that happens and then every time it's like, that, you my mommy you're creepy as fuck. yeah you, you get the first catchphrase that's going to be uh, referenced constantly through uh, Moffat. New Another um, is Moffat, of course. What, it, but the Doctor well, dances Moffat's, has has everybody lives. Mm. The Doctor dances yeah. has the everybody lives speech, which is. I just wish he didn't. I wish he didn't use it with every companion. That was my problem with him. Yeah, maybe. I just well, I like, like that because it has, it has, it it expresses that the Doctor for all that has happened to them because this Ed. The Empty Child is after the long game, right? Yeah. 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 So we've just had these this pair of episodes that are pretty dark and pretty bleak. You've got the you've got Dalek, where mm. he's very dark and serious. Then um then he's abandoned um well not not unfairly, but mm -hmm. banished a, a a companion. Um and then this, and then at the end you get this beautiful happy moment, which I'd say is the only reason I'd put the Doctor Dancers above empty child is it, is it there's a moment it's is got it, a better what? payoff i mean the doctor dances is a great example of despite all the adversity of the prior three episodes yeah you can prevail and no one has to die and that that's is the that's whole a very very doctor kind mm. of thing which is why i see it as so and then you've got Boomtown, which is like the episode where you can breathe. And then you've yeah. got the two-part finale, which really ratchets the stakes up again. Yeah. So um, that's the only reason I would say Dr. Dances goes above Empty Child. But... So because I, for me, like the, the tension involved, it was the first two-parter. So it was the mm. first time that we it had It wasn't a, the first two-parter. No, the uh, Aliens, Aliens of London, London and... And, and World Love War Three. What the first two oh parter God. of New my, Who my brain's was the going worst. Bad then. Don't worry, mate. That happens. That, to that, the that's, rest of that's how much. I, that's how much I didn't like those episodes. Yeah, no, they're, they're pretty low down. <laughs> like, um, like, what do you guys think, Rev, Rev and Goldie, about this discussion? Like, Re Dalek <laughs> was. I, I remember Dalek being the first time you actually got to so see like the vicious nature of the Doctor, but then. I don't know that episode with the fucking gas masks. That was so good. So I mean, what? God, this is getting tough, isn't it? I wouldn't. I I can't put parting of the ways beneath. I don't know. Can I? Can 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 both of these outrank the ending? I mean, they are. I mean, if you if you want my view on it, I would say number yeah, four is Dalek. Uh, number three, Parting of the Ways, and number two, Doctor Dance is number one, The Empty Child. Yeah. I mean, the da Dalek, um, I hear a lot yes. of people saying it's one of the best episodes of Doctor Who ever, but it just, see, the thing is, I don't hate it or anything, but it's one of those episodes where, you know, everyone hypes up so much, but when I watch it, I'm going, I I'm not getting that feeling that everyone says that they get, so it kind of feels underwhelming when I watch it. Well, where the Daleks are currently, Goldie, is where the Daleks were pre-Dalek, pre this episode, because now they're considered a joke. And Stephen mm. Moffat, unfortunately, as well as Chris Chibnall, uh, are both uh, great examples of turning the Daleks back into a joke. But before Dalek aired, the Dalek as a concept was considered a joke. And it, this episode single-handedly restored their reputation and turned the most iconic monster of Doctor Who from being a joke to being the number one threat to the Doctor and add in the lore, um, which was brought in from previous episodes of the Time War, and it becomes much more personal for the, the, the Doctor. I dare say that Dalek for New Who had the same effect 
as Dalek Mania had for Classic Who, in that it turned uh, a show that was having an okay start in New Who, but having a bad start in Classic Who. The Daleks, in both eras, saved the fucking show, or at least mm. promoted it in I mean, New Who's case. A lot Ryan, of people... I, I, I can't disagree with that. Like, I, I, think, I think what you said there was literally what I was about to say. You, na- you nailed it. It made them fierce. And yeah, it made them scary. It turned a threat. It, 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 tur- it turned the bad guy into the doctor, where the doctor was going to betray everything he was going to do, and he's literally there, and he's shaking, and he's like, "Shit, no, I wouldn't, I couldn't." I, I like he was going to betray everything that he stood for, because remember, back in the day, he had a chance to wiping wiping them out, and he chose not to. Yet this time, he was going to do it, mm-hmm. and then he, and then he, like, oh, I, I, I love that episode because of what um, it meant for the character yeah. of the doctor. And, and the thing is to... that when people talk about Christopher Eccleston as the Doctor and they remember him fondly, most of what they're talking about is in Dalek. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Of him, mm-hmm. like, saying, why don't you just die and, and stuff like and that. And without so, Dalek, yeah. the, the payoff of parting in the ways is nowhere near as strong. Yeah. Exactly. People in chat that... are all saying Dalek is number one. Mm-hmm. So. And then you have that scene where Rose well, touches really the Dalek and it gets like emotion, where it gets like that emotional imprint. And so. The thing that made Dalek so it's good was, really create, yeah, yeah, they can start um, flying, they can levitate. It, it's cut, and you for the first time you see intelligent Daleks like electrocuting people. Well, oh, oh, is this okay? They were all intelligent, Darby. Yeah. It was just a great this. The episode was a great way of making them serious uh, again, and you know it was hard enough killing one, ramp up the stakes with Bad Wolf and parting of the the ways um i really do enjoy the empty child and the doctor dances but they are solid middle episodes stephen moffat is great at creating solid two-parter middle episodes or one-off great villains for example uh, the the empty child and the doctor dances another example would be blink of course and then oh what was that two-parter in the library that one Silence oh, in the um, library. Silence in the library, library. Yeah. Yeah. Forest mm. of the Dead. The vast, the Forest vast of the Yeah, yeah. Mm. They, they, that was great. So, I mean, this is what we're working with. Then would be the Empty Child and the Doctor Dances, mm. which are, I, I don't know which one to put above. So I just did them this way because it doesn't matter. I mean, I could put them the other way if you prefer. Um, and then parting of the ways, I feel kind of has to, like, because the it, people love that ending. And, and it's the first regeneration of the modern series. People go crazy for that and seeing David Tennant at the end of it as well. And then... Was but, it... But okay, I, I, I've got a question because, because I don't remember. To be Dalek is number one. <laughs> I'll... Um, what, go, sorry, go on, go on, Sorry, was it in the Parting of the Ways where the, the blonde companion that was in the Doctor Who house, the, uh, the, the Big Brother house with him dies? Or was that in the previous one? No, no that, that was... in Parting of the Ways. Yeah. That was because I yeah because I can remember seeing that and I can remember the way in which that he was all, almost using her as a like a rose substitute so he decided to you know I'm going to send you off because this might not be able this might not be something that I can do I I, I really enjoy that as a payoff for the episode because I feel like it builds from that and I feel like that little part just within that the last 15 20 minutes mm-hmm. is better than all of the references from Bad Wolf that we got earlier. Mm. The, the, I like Bad Wolf because that was what I grew up with. Like all those references, I think they're cool. But watching it now, I can watch the second part of that what, way more than the first part. The part of the ways is significantly more watchable than Bad Wolf. Right? Yeah. Um, it's I I don't know if it's right to put it above Empty Child and Doctor Dances though because. But it is so important. To it's stick the payoff. The landing. Yes, yeah. it's the payoff, which is why I personally think the Doctor Dances is better than the Empty Child. The Empty Child is a fantastic episode that builds up the Doctor Dances. You can't have a foundation on top of a house, though. Yeah, I I, dis, I, I agree. I think Doctor Dances takes it because of the because of the that's, everybody. Moves. Well, that's Ryan, quite... that logic is kind of flawed in some places. Like World Enough in Time is miles better than the Doctor Falls, and so those foundations are far better than the the finished product. 
remember everybody that what we're working with here is um all of these are like deserving of being number one on a list of modern <laughs> compared to the modern stuff like